You didn't know? Well, here we go. Like and subscribe. So, how to start a business with no money in 2017. How to start a business. Start a business in 2017. Business with no money. Business with no money and bad credit. How to start a business. Starting a business. How to start a business in 2017 with no money. Do you need money? You don't need money. You don't need money to start a business. Okay? Three things you need. Three things that you can potentially start a business. You can make something. You can resell something. Or you can provide a service. Okay? Those are three things that you can do for free. You won't need any money to start. Okay? You can make something. Are you creative? Can you write a book? Huh? I don't know. Can you? I don't know. I can. So, drop shipping is one thing. But you say, hey, wait a minute. Drop shipping, don't I have to buy the item first? If I have to buy the item first, that costs money. Okay, well, what you do is you go to whatever store, whatever place you're getting your stuff from. Okay, whether it's Walmart, whatever, even if it's Amazon. Okay, you just take a picture of it. Okay, you take a picture of the item. They pay you. They send you the money. You take the money that they send you, you buy the item, and you ship it to them, okay? Or whoever ships it to them. It's drop shipping, you don't ship it to them. The company that you got ships it to them, okay? So that's one thing, drop shipping, all right? But that's not the only thing, okay? Wholesaling houses. Wholesaling houses is pretty simple to do. It takes a lot of time, a lot of work, but it's pretty simple to do. And all you need is advertising. So free advertising, what they tell you to do, what I did, was uh, you hang what's called bandit signs. You take a piece of cardboard, piece of poster board, poster paper, and uh, get a little graphic, get a little artistic, and you put it up there and you say, uh, we buy houses, we buy ugly houses, we buy houses all cash, we buy houses fast, whatever you do, and you put your phone number on there, and people are gonna call you, and you're gonna qualify them for the wholesaling of houses, and it didn't cost you anything to get that lead, okay? And that doesn't cost you anything. All right, so that's one thing, that's two things. So you got wholesaling houses, and you got drop shipping, okay? Now, ebook publishing, I mentioned it a little bit earlier. You can, you know, write a book, a little PowerPoint presentation type book, you know, put it on a freaking uh, Amazon. Amazon will do it for free. They'll publish the book, they'll, they'll take care of it, they'll do it all, it's moving a little, okay? They'll do it all for free. And they'll put it on Amazon, and you'll get a per percentage of the cut. I think you get 70%, and I think they get 30%. So, I mean, that's just something you, else you can do. No money. No money. These are internet businesses, okay? Can I start a business from home? Not necessarily on the internet, with no money. I say you can. Okay? Have you ever heard of a lawn care business? Okay? All you need is a lawn mower and a weed whacker, and you're in business. Okay? If you're a homeowner, you got that stuff already. Now, it's not a commercial grade lawnmower, but you get started somewhere, all right? So, that's again, advertising. Flyers on people's houses. You can drive around the neighborhood, look for high grass on houses, okay? Put a flyer in, give them a discount rate their first time, boom, instant customer, okay? Lawn care business, didn't cost you anything, okay? When I say things don't cost you anything, they cost you your time, your effort, your sweat equity. Sweat equity, okay? That's something that you need to learn when you don't want to pay money for your business. You're going to put sweat into it. Sweat equity, all right? So that's the lawn care business. You can do that, okay? So the lawn care business is one thing. Uh, I had a growing handyman business, okay? Handyman business is big, okay? People don't want to put their little furniture together that they bought from the store, hanging pictures, you know, single mothers, uh, old ladies, these people, little stupid things, okay? Touch up painting, caulking the bathtub, okay? These are all little things you can do. Put out flyers, put them up in, uh, in your convenience stores. You know, we got uh, deli type stores, 7-Elevens, Stewart's, those kinds of, uh, you know, Piggly Wiggly, wherever the hell you are. And, uh, you know, they have little boards on there and you, you put up your flyer, you know, for handyman services. It doesn't cost you a penny. And see, the thing with the handyman services that I found is uh, once you get one customer, okay, once you get one customer, that word of mouth, because, you know, the old people, 
mosquito. Old people turn around and talk, okay? And, you know, they, they talk and they tell, oh, you know, this guy, he was nice. He was cute and he came to the house and he hung my picture. Oh, he was great. Oh, it was lovely. And uh, they try and set you up with their daughters and, and, their, and their granddaughters and stuff like that. But anyway, that, that's neither here nor there. But uh, so that's the handyman business. What I did in the handyman business was I, <laughs> I was, I, I was uh, fortunate enough to be around a, a, a bingo hall where, where there was a lot of older people congregating. And it was very easy for me. To, to pick up some business through there, through the bingo hall. So that's just an idea, freebie idea. Bonus, bonus, bonus idea. Bingo halls, old ladies, love it. Okay, so on the same line as that is a, a painting business, okay? If you're, if, you're, uh, if you're not too good with the handyman stuff, you know, painting is a skill you can teach yourself pretty quickly. I did that. I was painting apartments for, uh, for apartment complexes, turnovers, you know, they do two or three a month, people move out, and they want them, they want them turned over in 24 hours, which is three days, eight hour shifts, 24 hours. So, you know, you get three days to paint the apartment. It really took a day and a half, you know, if you really banged it out really good, you know, and uh, it's an apartment, it's not someone's Taj Mahal mansion. So, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be presentable, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And you get it done and you make, you know, you're gonna make a couple of hundred dollars a unit. And, you know, Again, that's you doing sweat equity, going to these places, going to property managers, uh, making phone calls, and, and giving, finding out what other people charge and charging less. Big bonus, big, big bonus tip, charge less, okay? So you charge less for your, for your stuff. Okay, what else do I got here? Oh, same, along the same lines is uh, office and home cleaning, okay? You see a lot of home businesses start that way. No money down. All you need is basic cleaning supplies, okay? And you get that going, all right? Now, all of this does, all of these things are about getting the word out, you know? You gotta, you gotta word of mouth, you gotta, you, again, the, the, the sweat equity, okay? You gotta get out there and meet people and, 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 and get your service out there, okay? Maybe there's a local radio station you can call in and do something and mention your, your thing, you know? Maybe there is. Maybe there's something on, on the internet you can, you know, a, a local a local blog or, or something you can you can join and, and, and put your thing in. You know, you got to look for free ways to advertise. So, what else do I got for you? What other bonuses? Okay, you know, you got to be creative. You got to think of ways. When you hit a brick wall, when there's something that says, you know, oh, well, I can't I can't do it. Might as well give up. 90%, 99%, was it an 80-20 rule? So 80%, people give up there, okay? They hit a brick wall, they hit a snag, they hit a something that, that, that causes a problem in their smooth operation, and they decide, well, you know, screw it, screw it, and they let it go. And if they would have just persevered and pushed through, get over that little hurdle, listen, life's full of these little hurdles, and if you give up every time, where are you gonna be? So find a way around it, okay? talk to people networking networking is something that's big you know when it comes to figuring out your problems you know YouTube is a great resource to find you know ways to overcome problems you know how to how to find out how to whatever it is that you got a problem you go on YouTube all right what else do I got here I mentioned consulting all right you know if, if you have a skill and you can do consulting that's great, you know, if you have some kind of skill that, that you know, people people uh, value and you can consult for them and give them advice and charge for it, again, that's getting your name out there, getting your service out there, word of mouth, advertising, figuring it out, charging less, okay? Charging less and giving more, that's a key, okay? Another bonus, giving more. So you're charging less and giving more, okay? And uh, food delivery. Food delivery is a fun one. I know you see these popped up around a lot, but you know it started out where uh, a bunch of college kids were hanging out, and uh, you know their favorite restaurants, McDonald's, Taco Bell, uh, whatever local restaurants, they didn't deliver. So you know they they didn't have cars. Well, some of them did, and maybe they were partying. You know, college kids, and they couldn't drive, and. Uh, so they decided to make a business of home delivery where, you know, they would put out a bunch of menus and they had a, a discounted deal with these restaurants and, uh, you know, you would order from them, they would order from the restaurant for you, pick up the food and deliver it to you for a delivery fee, 
they were getting a discount from the restaurant so they were paying less for the food and they were charging you a delivery fee and then and, hey instant business that's that's a brainstorm you know you can do that pretty simply riding around your own neighborhood you know all the restaurants you know where the good stuff is you know all the shortcuts you know and and become a delivery guy <sighs> I can go on forever, but my time is pretty much up here. You know, you want to keep these things to about 10 minutes because who wants to watch these things for longer than that? But if you've stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe, share, okay? These are ideas you can share with anybody. Anybody, these, these things can work for college kids, high school kids, work at home moms, everybody. You know, these ideas are universal across the board and they work. They're time tested and proven. Every one of the things I've mentioned, you know, you've seen, they're out there, okay? You just hadn't thought about it. That's what I'm here for. That's what I do. I figure it out. I put it together. I bring it to you so you can make, you know, what I say may have put a light bulb off in your head. And now you got an idea. And now you're going to go with it. And you're welcome. Okay? You're welcome. Another thing is uh, t-shirts. It's a new thing. It's a new thing that's going on now. Uh, t-shirts selling. And, uh, you know, you wouldn't believe it. But you can sell t-shirts for no money. Uh... There's a, a company called Teespring, and I haven't really checked them out yet. I've only I've only done some r rudimentary research, but it seems like uh, you know you, you can go on their website and design a shirt, and uh, they won't make the shirt until somebody buys it. So someone will you know see your advertising, which is what's going to cost you money. That's what I can't understand why it's for free. I and mean, people are advertising, you know, make uh, T-shirts for free. You got to advertise. You know, you could do free advertising, but you know that's free advertising. It's it's worth what you pay for. But uh, you know, if you're trying to do free, you know, it's out there free. So Teespring, you you go and uh, you make a T-shirt design, and uh, you advertise it. You know, whatever T-shirt design you have. You know, if you have some graphics or you have some sayings or what you know, whatever. And uh, and when someone buys it. They make it right then, and I'm not sure what the split is. Like I said, I didn't really go into d depth with it, but they're saying uh, zero money. So you know, I'm going to look into that, and that might be a future video by itself because that does sound interesting and promising. Okay, so you got that, and uh, the last thing which I neglected to mention, I should have mentioned it a lot earlier. Hey, where are you going? So the last thing is uh, being an affiliate marketer. Now, being an affiliate marketer, it doesn't cost you nothing. You're selling other people's stuff. So you can go and you can make a free website. You know, there's Wix.com, uh, I think WordPress. But anyway, you got uh, you got options for free websites, okay? There you go again. So you got options for free websites, right? And uh, you make a web page and... Uh, you become a sign up for an affiliate program. An affiliate program is uh, you're selling someone else's stuff and you get a percentage. You know, you get like a small percentage, 10%, 5%, whatever, 8%. Okay, depending on what's, you know. Oh, well, that's not true because some affiliates you can you can make 50% and, and a lot higher on, on, on virtual and, and digital products, you know. But uh, so, you know, if you don't know about uh, affiliate marketing, there's plenty of information out there. So you're selling other people's stuff. You're basically advertising and, uh, you know, getting a free website if you do it that way. And, you know, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. And uh, so that's another way to make money. Start a business for free, you know, online or at home. You know, work from home. Start a business. No money down. Bad credit. The whole shebang. Okay. It's what you can do. Okay, if you want to put the sweat equity into it, you know, you can you can make money if you want to. So if you found this uh, video helpful in any way with some useful information, which you know it was useful information, well then hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, you know, try and do a couple of videos a week, finding jobs, work from home, uh, make money from home, uh, make money online, you know, different different business ideas different ways to make money with no money you know sometimes I'm, I look at apps that make money there you go again Whee! come back so you know that's what I do and I put out these videos for you so that you don't have to do the legwork you can maybe something will click something will interest you something you'll say hey I can do that and but I you know you didn't have the time to go through the internet and, and search and, and, and figure out all of these things so you know like and subscribe. Here we go.
you guys have a great day and look forward to my next video.